After months of biting and speculating, the PBA's plans of restarting the suspended 2020 season could finally see the light of day soon. There are still some significant hurdles that will need to be addressed throughout the process of arranging the bubble, but so far the league has shown it is headed in the right direction by sticking to a clear, organized outline despite the bevy of options readily available to its top officials. But where exactly is the league at right now in terms of its planning? And how much more work is in store for the Commissioner Willie Marshall and the PBA Board of Governors before their plans come to fruition? Here's everything we know, and don't know, so far. There's a lot of optimism on the PBA's part that the 2020 season can start sometime around October. Reports cited October 9th as a possible start date for the resumption, but Commissioner Marshall said Tuesday that it all depends on the response of the Interagency Task Force on the Management of Emerging Infectious Diseases IATFID, on their requests. Before being able to finalize a schedule, the PBA will first have to wait for the go signal from the IATF to start team scrimmages. At the moment, all teams are limited to non-contact conditioning exercises in small batches. The league has yet to deliver it on the location this Friday before coming up with a decision sometime next week. But options clearly aren't lacking here. On top of the list are the Smart Arena Coliseum in Quezon City and the Coca-Cola Arena in Dubai, where the PBA hosted two overseas games last season. Other locations include El Nido in Palawan, Subic, Pampanga, Batangas, and Baguio. At least 12 hotels in Metro Manila have also expressed their interest in housing all PBA teams if the league decides to hold the bubble here, according to Marshall. Players and coaches have expressed in past interviews that they trust the league's head honchos to come up with the best decision for everybody. But at least two coaches in Yang Guo of NLEX and Kaloe Garcia of Rain or Shine think that the PBA will be better off holding the bubble here in the capital instead of moving everything elsewhere. In an appearance on Sports Page last September 2nd, both coaches said practice facilities won't be a concern if the league decides to stay in Metro Manila, and that the PBA can still mount a bubble if the closed-circuit concept travel is limited from hotels to practices and back only is strictly implemented. The only sure thing at the moment in terms of scheduling is that the rest of the Philippine Cup will be shortened. Guio also floated the idea of a compressed two-month schedule that ends early December, citing considerations on mental health and the need to bring players coaches and other personnel back to their families before the holidays roll around. There is also talk of holding triple headers on game days. Save for the TNT Katropa, who camped out at the Inspire Sports Academy in Kalimba, Laguna for two weeks, all teams are holding training and conditioning exercises in small batches within their respective practice facilities around the metro. Marshall said Tuesday that he has written to the IATF about the possibility of beginning in-team scrimmages by September 15. If the IATF approves, the commissioner said he'll write another letter on the first or second week of October laying out the approved bubble plans in hopes of finally getting the green light to kickstart the season.